Our client was an elderly man who believed that he was a co-owner of his house with his daughter. He thought he had legal title to the house, but one day he saw a real estate agent putting up a for sale sign on his front lawn. When he confronted the agent about it, the agent told him his daughter had placed the house on the market. When our client confronted his daughter about the matter, she told him he had to leave and move in with some relatives. The daughter started to make life difficult for our client, subjecting him to verbal and emotional abuse in an effort to have him move out of the house. Our client came to us for legal assistance as he was unsure about his property rights. He had no documentation relating to the transaction but had contributed about 20000 towards the purchase price of the house. He had also paid for half of the utility bills and half of the mortgage repayments over the years. It appeared that at the time of the purchase, our client's daughter had misled him to believe that both their names would be on the title deed. This wasn't the case, and his daughter refused to share the proceeds of the sale of the house. Our client was faced with being homeless and penniless. On behalf of our client, we negotiated with That's the daughter, correct. which subsequently led to us notifying her that a caveat would be lodged over the home to stall the sale. This gave our client sufficient leverage to get his daughter to relent and sign a deed stating that she would pay him $100,000 upon settlement. This amount was identified as a fair payment for our client's contributions and upon settlement he received the money. This enabled him to secure a bond to find accommodation at a retirement village of his choice.